Hello and welcome to part number 23 of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Lord playthrough. Today we're going to be starting a D quest for a divine beast, Va Rodania. And uh, I chose Va uh, Meadow as being incomplete. Uh, that's because I have not spoken to the elder. Uh, it is complete. Um, so I just need to complete that quest. So we'll start off with talking to him. He'll give us the lay down for what's wrong here. Warudania is basically um, wreaking havoc on Goron City by launching all these boulders. And he needs Yunobu's help in calming it down by launching him in a cannon. Uh, so that's the idea here. First, we need to find Yunobu, who is going to be here. So we'll travel to the shrine <coughs> and then just simply make our way north and uh, find Yonobu, rescue him and then be on our way. Uh, this is one of the missions where you're required to guide an NPC through a series of hurdles. Um, uh, honestly not my favorite, but it is what it is. And he will shut himself off. Uh, the moment you're close enough. And that's the location we're headed towards. Um, we will need to use one of our fireproof elixirs, so we'll go ahead and use that. Uh, I think it would be a good idea to buy I don't think this is where I'm meant to go. No, I think I left it behind. My apologies. I ran too far. This is the location. We don't need to talk to this guy. Basically what we need to do... He's gonna make a comment of that, it doesn't matter. Basically what we need to do is uh, use this cannon. Use the bomb arrow, or bomb a rune. And then launch the cannon. Just explode the bomb, and launch the thing. And you're meant to... I believe... Destroy something. But it doesn't matter for our purposes, we can just make our way through here we need the final cannon anyways uh, this requires us to start taking another one of those elixirs I should be careful here. I can fall and die. Hmm. Maybe a good idea to just take this. Hmm. Either that or just trigger the... Oops. Oh, and the speed up kind of got rid of my thing. Okay, well. That was a bummer. I crafted that. And yeah, I got no use out of it. That's fine. Uh, oh, okay. So, where is this guy? What? Am I supposed to speak to the guy? Okay. Um... Hopefully not. I think we should talk to that guy after all. Weird. I swear I didn't have to. Okay. So 
so now he'll point us to the direction of where you know but is up ah. on that rock okay perfect bye oh. that is so weird i swear i did not remember exactly where you know but was otherwise i would have been able to mark his location better That is bad. I'm getting our artillery fire happen. Okay. And what we're supposed to do is use a cannon to free your nobu. Uh, because uh, that's the only way to do so. But that's not the cannon we need to use. Uh, those guys are still aiming arrows at me. I need some food, basically. If I'm not going to, I don't, I don't think I will be crafting any further. Um, I'm not going to be crafting any further uh, hardy durians anytime soon. I'm thinking I may as well uh, farm some apples. Okay, so we need to basically break this rock formation because the guy is in there. And so to do that, we need to get to this cannon right here. We have to aim it just as it's about to turn. This might take a few tries. Um, that should do it. And, boom. And, boom. and there's your noble. Okay, go ahead and talk to this guy. Thank you. Just, uh, yeah. Just checking if that's the master sword that I used. Indeed, it was. I do not wish to hear any dialogue. Yeah, let's get out of here. So I'm gonna talk to this guy. Mm. <sighs> huh? Okay, oh. and then we'll head back. And he'll just be able to head himself back there. So perfect. Um excuse me. <coughs> we go back here. Talk to the old Goron again, and that will trigger the quest for us to guide Yunobu through to Va Rudania. The question is, should I get fireproof elixirs again? I think I'll be getting three more here for saving this guy. I may as well use them. Okay, there you go. And he's gonna talk about Daruk and we'll trigger another memory. So you've triggered... I think this is the fourth one. I do not care, he's one of the champions. We triggered Nifas, we triggered Rivalis, and we triggered Daruks. We're just over the Gerudo one. So there you go. Just head on over towards this location 
and that's where we're at but i'm thinking i'm gonna farm up some apples to get some apples you can just go to satori mountain and there should be plenty of fruits there this is uh the starter area i think in part two when we were trying to get the uh, ancient bridal and the ancient saddle And as I make this part, I'm actually thinking perhaps I should do Wanda Boris. And there's a reason for that. Um, so there are four. Uh, let's see here. First, let me see if I can actually find any edible, uh, edible trees here. Huh. Misremembering, I think I'm remembering Tears of the Kingdom because there was a bunch of apples here or trees with apples. Yes, yes, most definitely. Um, okay, this is annoying. Hmm. I'm actually thinking of doing the Gerudo quest first, and the reason for that is um, each of the Divine Beasts um, scourges the bosses. So we got the Wind Blight Ganon, there is also one for Warudania called the Fire Blight Ganon, one for Waruta the Water Blight Ganon, and one for Wanaboris the Thunder Blight Ganon. Thunder Blight Ganon, I would say, is the toughest of the four Blights. Now, as you conquer each Divine Beast and do each boss fights, you don't have to do them in any particular order. You could do any of them first. You could do this guy first, you could do Rodania first, you could do Waruta, or you could do Vanaboris. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but each beast you conquer makes the boss of the next beast or subsequent beast stronger. So the reason why Va, uh, Wind Blight Ganon was as weak as it was or took was taken down four hits was because he only had 800 hit points. The next divine beast that I take on will have 400 additional hits, hit points so he'll have 1200 hit points. And the next one that I take down would have additional 400 so that would be 1600. The final one I take down will have additional 400 from the third, so that'll be 2,000 hit points. I can choose the order, but I don't have a choice when it comes to how much health uh, goes up by. That's a flat increase of 400. But so if I do this, so I needed to do this first because I wanted to get Revali scale. It's just too useful not to have uh, at the start of the game. I'm thinking of doing this because then this would allow me to get um, uh, Thunderblight Ganon at 1200 health versus a 1600 or 2000 health because this guy's tough and if I can get him down uh, defeated with low enough health I should be able to clear the toughest divine beast uh, early and relatively easily. So I'm gonna put this on hold. Having said that, I have reached here. Perhaps I'll activate Warudania and complete the video with that. And then I'll abandon that and then go to Karudo Desert and complete that quest. So that's kind of my plan right now. So I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I need some food. So I'm thinking I'll demonstrate how the whole uh, Gerudo Town Farm works. So the way that works is if you go to this shrine, um, just find a place to rest. I could rest at uh, Hatno Village or the Old Man's Cabin in Great Plateau. I'll choose the Great Plateau. Uh, either way, it doesn't matter. Now this is a rupee game, so I have very I don't have much rupees, so I'm gonna throw this maybe twice before I head to Farron Grasslands. So essentially what you do is you find a spot to sleep. You could also do this in Korok Forest for free, uh, or sleep here, or Hatno Village, those are the uh, three places I know. Uh, 
We can have a base. So I'll pick up some spicy pepper while I'm at it. There's another one. I'm gonna place a medallion here because that way I can travel here fast. And then sleep. To, actually, I don't need to sleep right now. Uh, I just had to Gerudo Desert, change the clothes to the Gerudo Y outfit. And then go to Gerudo Town, Shrine. And the whole part of all this is just the loading screens that you have to go through, which can get annoying, but uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And then you'll be able to get three Hardy Durians. So the Hardy Durian shop is uh, right here. So you just climb this wall or you can just go to the main entrance right there. And this is the Hardy Durian shop. They have three, so I'll buy all of them. It'll cost 180 rupees. That's fine. Once you're done with this, you go back here. Now, if you had two travel medallions, you'd be able to do this much more efficiently. Place one here, place one near a bed, and then just keep uh, using those travel medallions to fast travel back and forth. Now, why do we need it near the bed? Is because we need to move time forward to the next day because the inventory of the merchant will restock the next day as long as whatever item you have in your inventory is less than 50 so I only have three their inventory will restock so it's 8.55 a.m. I hit morning it'll be the next day and then I'll be able to buy three more from the merchant again okay so next day happen it's five o'clock I go here. Okay, sorry about that. And here we are. And talk to this person again. So there are the Hardy Durians back at full capacity by three, and, and there you get it. There you have it. Then just travel to any shrine which has a cooking station. By the way, this merchant also sells volt fruit, which is used to upgrading the uh, the rubber set, which is useful in its own right. Okay, and that's where we're gonna go. Um, actually, I'm thinking I'll sell a few items, but I do need some um, money. Hey. I don't think I'll be using the spicy peppers, yeah. but may as well make a stew. Uh, uh, I don't need flint anymore. I have the flame weapons, that should be good. I don't think I need the 10 choo choos either, so get rid of that. And these I'll get rid of as well. As well as these. And these. The diamonds are really useful for repurchasing certain items uh, weapons that are awarded as part of the quest completion the main quest completion uh, I'm not going to be using those so I'm going to sell both of these thousand rupees so that's good I'm going to hold on to the Lionel gut or guts I suppose uh, oops. 
How much um, bullet arrow do I have? How many bomb arrows? 63 arrows. Not a lot. Um, yep, so we're gonna go ahead and cook this up. So, I mean, there are good, reliable ways of farming Haridurians, and uh, I really like that. Okay, and speaking of these guys, I should also progress through the um, main storyline for uh, the Hylian Homeowner quest. Uh, but first, uh, I'll stick with this. That's all I need. Perfect. Off to assist Yunubu in progressing through the uh, Divine Beast. And I don't think the horse can be summoned here, so I should be okay. Wait, so he's right there. Yeah, so you're supposed to follow this path. Uh, and I think I should, but I'm not going to. Um. Let's see. I don't think I'm going to be able to get very much incline out of this. Really. Let's see. It will likely push me down, but let's see. I feel like I could have used the Rivali skill elsewhere. Far more effectively. Those are the little versions of Ignio Talus. There's Varudania doing what he does best. Okay. And there's Yunobu. Oh, there's a shrine here. May as well register it. I didn't know it. I was this close to the shrine. Okay. And back. Boom. And we've got ourselves some company. So we're gonna pull out some bomb arrows and some Lionel bows. Then we're gonna climb this mountain. Oh. What? Yes, we understand. Someone help me, please, yes. That someone has to be me, likely. Whoa! Oh yes, I forgot. I cannot use bomb arrows. Jeez, okay. Well, that sucks. That's okay. There you go. Have lots of fire arrows, lots of um, Lionel bows. I got four off. That's fine. I can farm for more. And so, what you need to do next is talk to this guy. He'll tell you what to do. Huh? His back hurt, blah 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 blah. Mm. Huh? Mm. Yes, 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 he'll explain. He'll uh. understand. Uh. Oh. Okay, are you sure? Oh. Yes, absolutely. His shield works. Wonders. 
And we have to now turn our song down. Pop this thing in there. And Okay, that was under an uh, email for that. Okay. So we have to move across it now. And more importantly, Daru uh, uh, this guy, Yonobu, is going to be able to cross it. Okay, I don't care about this cutscene. Please move oh. on. Okay, perfect. Is he going to start throwing rocks at us? <laughs> That's a pretty development, and he's gonna start uh, sending drones after us. Oh, and yeah, Divine Beast Water Daniel, yes. We get it, it's awesome. I never really got uh, why the four. I get, well, okay, they're based on elements. Why have Varudania and Vanaboris? Because I get Varuta, Vamedo, and Vanaboris. Varuta is basically underwater forces. He's a submarine, it's a merge, he can throw perpetual rainstorms at you, and he can deploy a huge amount of uh, underwater infantry. Navy basically. And um Okay, so that is some out of that as well. Um then we've got ourselves uh what's the word we'll call it? Yeah, okay. Then we got ourselves uh Vanaboris, which is basically the infantry from the ground. Now, we have to get this guy across from here. This is where it's gonna suck the most. I want him to just hide here without letting himself be seen. Wait up! Right! Okay, he's gonna wait here, hopefully. Where's that guy? He's up there. I have to take care of this guy first. So Vanaboris is infantry, so he can launch a lot of drones and then shoot lightning from the air. Um, supposed to run by it. Yeah, maybe he's supposed to just run by it. As he's about to make his... Yeah, that's the extent of this thing. Okay. Okay, you. Come. Let's go. Faster. Okay, let's go. Um, and then you've got Vamedo, which is of course one of the very best. Okay, I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure. okay just wait here. Yeah, so this guy is not moving. So, Va Meadow is Air Force. Launch drones from the sky, and then, of course, itself can just absolutely destroy enemies from the air by strafing from the sky. That one. Ok, 
Okay, and we got enemies here, I think. No. Okay, go to the side here. And the Rodani is right there, so we'll have to hit it once. So Wa Meadow is the Air Force. And Wa Yeah, and that's basically it. Strafe, send air drones attack the enemy from the air or engage with aerial units of the enemy water units for Waruta and infantry land units for Nabonobor as well providing cover fire as a cannon basically as in form of lightning a long range cannon so why is Warudanya there? Like, that's just duplicating what Warnoboros does because this beast is also meant to be for ground-based combat. I mean, I guess it can shoot aerial drones, but that's what my medal is for. So why why do that? It, it just doesn't make sense to me. It it makes sense in terms of the elemental uh, setup of these drones, the elemental setup or the elemental theme of the game. Okay, well, I mean, we we did this because we wanted the power of water, fire, uh, air, and the earth, but why do this for something like this? We don't really care about Rivali's Gale is we don't really care about the elements here. Like, I mean, power is power. I don't care if it's shooting fireballs or it's shooting laser beams. Come on, let's go. Uh, we really just need the three divine beasts. That's it. That covers everything. Having Varudania, while I guess you could say duplicate of Vanoboros, doesn't really make sense. I mean, Vanoboros is far more superior in my. my, my um, Sorry, Just wait here. Vanomoris is far more better at its job than Vanodania is. Maybe it's supposed to uh, represent underground combat, you know, with the volcano and all that. It's able to burrow its way, burrow its way underground and attacks the enemy from underneath. Perhaps, I don't know. Oh, hello, you are here. Good. We're dead. Okay, you. How am I supposed to kill you? Uh, let's see. I suppose with those. So we can really reach those. Perhaps that. Either that or you're supposed to put the bridge over here and then you can cross freely. Okay, well. This method work as well. Oh, did it. Just gave me a core. That's, that's cool. It's rare. Uh, yeah, okay. That's good. You come in. Okay, perfect. And then we head up here, and there's a cannon right there. I already cleared it with the enemy. You can just sit on it and do the job. I don't care about the slide but that's again provided so that you are able to have a weapon to shoot at this guy. Go. And boom. This is basically what that old Goron was doing, was using you know, as a cannon fodder so that Warudania was continue to move up the mountain, basically made it flee back to the mountain. Pretty good plan too, I mean the Gorons I would say were the least helpless of the, of the four. 
They had a good time going on. I mean, they were actually able to push back at the right beat. With uh, Lido, they couldn't do anything about Vana Morris. He was, so, sorry, Va, Va, Va Meadow. He had impenetrable defense. He had uh, excellent uh, way of defending itself. Okay, wait, wait. Come. Uh, you can wait right here. And there was really no way they could just all of these all all, it, all like an army of Rito just go up that high on the top uh, the the mountain to to, to take take out uh, Va Meadow. Same with Van de Boris, uh, the Gerudo can't really do anything about it. In Varuta, they specifically asked for our help. They were seeking a person out. So at least the Zorans and the uh, Gorons were doing something. Okay, so for this one, I think what you're supposed to do is uh, basically just use a bomb. Pirate perfectly. There you go, that's not that one. Not that, not that one. The heck, okay. That's a topaz, I don't care. I suppose I do care. I don't know, pick it up. Topaz, I don't care. Eh, rock salt, I don't care about it. Okay, you know, let's go. And we got further, more of these guys. And Maybe you can't reach my location. Come, buddy. This is pick on up. Okay, so wait here. Okay. Wow, Daniel nearly had us there with his. Uh, barrage of uh, bombs. Uh, so basically, if that happens, he'll barrage you with his bombs. Wardania, similar to the way he did when we entered the. Uh, or you were close to the Goron City. Basically, just find cover. That has never happened. That has never happened. And I do not know what that's gonna do to get into. So please don't make it so that he's repositioned all the way to the start of the death run. That's gonna suck. Okay, that was annoying. Um, you see that? Oh gosh, okay. You know, we'll can reach your location. Use this guy. 
Twice. Uh, oh God. This is infuriating. And it also made my uh, fireproof. <laughs> okay, lovely. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. And he ba basically is master mode, so he's going to be regenerating his health as well. This is just. Gorgeous all around. Thank you. So see, this is why this mission is incredibly frustrating. Incredibly frustrating. All of this stuff is happening. And then you have to do all of this. The NPC that just doesn't know what to do. This took a long time, just like 40 minutes, the whole video, just to do this. And I was able to do the whole mission for Rarodani in one video. Sorry, Wild wow, Meadow. This is gonna take multiple time. Well, at least we've calmed down the beast for now, and uh, we're gonna be able to enter this. At least I didn't die in that made for some fun. Way focus right there. And we can skip this. And this should basically put Link inside. Uh, any second now. Come on, I can't skip this, great. Right, so this is registered and I will then abandon this uh, quest for now. Hey, little guy, I always knew you're here to- And I'll continue this afterwards. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna do some additional quests you're for- You're gonna need a map that shows uh, the for the Hylian homeowner, or sorry, sorry not, not the Hylian homeowner, for the Tarry Town. So that's the location we need to go to. I don't care, I don't care. Thank you, thank you. Right, so next quest. So the next thing I want to do is uh, this video is pretty long, so I'm gonna be Okay, pay the town visit to make sure they arrive safely and check in with Hudson. So let's check in with Hudson. So again, I can I can fast travel here anytime I want to, which is perfect. I'm gonna talk to Hudson here, and uh, I will then I will most likely ask you to cut some logs, which I will, and then I shall return. I'll pause this video, and I shall return once it's there. And we're making making our way to Terrytown. Hudson, I think he's gonna ask us to get us 20 pounds of wood. Yeah, 20 bottles of wood. Perfect. So I'll cut down these trees and be right back. Okay, so I have collected 17 bundles of wood. Um, so if you run out of trees here, you can always go down here and there will be more trees. Just be aware that there's also gonna be uh, guardian stalkers down there. So. You can check whether these guardian stalkers are. There's a lot of them. Which ones are legit or not? Those two are the ones. I don't want to engage this guy. Oh, lovely. And the way you can break this down is through here and this. Alright, lovely. Yeah, enemies are on my back here right now. Okay. So I'll be right back once I've cut more wood. Thank you. And here we are with 20 wood. Mm. 
so they want someone who's got a gift for tailoring and again it needs to be done with the name son and the person who's able to do that eh, resides here in the Karakara Bazaar so we'll go to the shrine and make our way there and I'm going to pause the video again it's a straight uh, jog from Gerudo Town to Karakara Bazaar and once I'm there I shall resume and here we are at the Karakara Bazaar and so the person we need to speak to is right here under this tent lovely they're asleep that's okay we'll wait till morning or I suppose noon And they should be awake. Zavak. So she's looking for the love of the life. Uh, why the rush? Go to Terry Town. They need a tailor. And so she's gonna go seek a tailor and the love of her life. And she's gone. So that's that. And next up, more wood collection from this guy. So I am not going to bother showing that. He'll just give me the quest and so on and so forth. I'll actually go ahead and end the video here. Uh, I'll do this off screen, just collect all the woods and then I'll speak to him and then that's where I'll start the next part. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.